Vocal fry. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, hey, it's so good. That's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Здравствуйте, мои дорогие друзья, и приветствую вас на моем канале. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Mr. D video, and he is not alone. He is today with Lee Yugang, and they're going to sing at the Shanghai Spring Festival. And as you may know, I live in Asia, so I love to see everything that's happening around China, because I think it's so interesting, and especially when I'm close to it. So let's dive into it. Don't forget to subscribe here. Yeah, your subscription matters a lot. And I'm also on Instagram with my students and my life here in Singapore and it would be so nice if we can connect over there. Let's go. I love this. But this different sound is just Chinese traditional mix pop, right? Yeah, so the first thing you can actually hear, it's quite interesting that they're both performing at the same time because we can really see how different every artist is working, right? Now, you can clearly hear that Dimash has a very different projection, uh, but Li Yugang is, has a different, his projection is not so much forward, right? Like, like if you think about American language, then the projection is much more forward. But if you think in some languages like Chinese or German, for example, the projection is somewhere around here. The sound doesn't, doesn't travel it because we have different vocalizations and we use our vowels differently. Um, so that's something that I immediately hear that each of them has a different, you know, um, that the sound travels a little bit more differently. <laughs> But beautiful, beautiful head voice, like this, this small little flip, you know, and this is something where some people struggle. Some people feel that they need to do a whole line in falsetto and then they feel it's so difficult to make this flip, this going backwards with chest and head voice, but in that case it's just beautiful. Let's see, yeah. Vocal pride. <laughs> so much vocal pride <laughs> in the beginning. Oh wow. Oh wow. Not bad. It's so nice. They have their own Chinese Dimash there, right? <laughs> so good. Um, it's so nice to see men doing actually that diva song, right? And this fixation with Farinelli, with men uh, singing this really high voices. It's just, this is something that is anchored in history. Watch my other Dimash videos. I have a big playlist of two years and we speak about this Farinelli term uh, that came from the 18th century and how um, that was a big hit, how he was a big hit, Farinelli. Um, let's continue. Great. Oh my god. 
it. <laughs> okay, this 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 sounds on the back. They irritated me a bit. <laughs> um, but it's so interesting because Lee uh, Lee was doing it. He sounds a little bit more nasally. Did you hear that it was more nasally, and it also was a little bit more popish. It was a little bit more brighter. While Dima, you could still hear the classical approach with that round, with that low larynx and that round mouth and this space that he creates. <laughs> two divas on stage oh my god that was such a really well and interesting duet right man that was amazing he had that really great belting there that beautiful chest voice he has his own riffing there you know his own um his own traditional kazakhstan music there or the riffs that they are doing and then this chinese traditional music and both together and Li Yugang just did a great job. Wow, that was so beautiful. And I really, I honestly like Chinese music. I think that it has something calming and it has something about, you know, it just shows so much history within the music. And I always feel that if I listen to something Chinese, it just draws me back into these old times, right? Um, so I think that was a great collaboration with them also going together and ending together on the head voice. So that was really, really fun, really nice. And both of them, I mean, Dimash has a lot of power, there's no doubt, right? But the, the, the Lee Yugang was doing it absolutely great. I would love to see more from him. If you want to learn yourself using your head voice, then start. You have to start somewhere, because I have a lot of students here, 90% of them, they don't want to use their head voice, you know, because they feel that their voice doesn't belong to them because it's so, so weak and, you know, sometimes it's so airy and they feel that this voice doesn't represent their speaking voice. But if you miss out on this beautiful part of your instrument, then you're gonna be, you know, miss out on beautiful songs that you could sing. So give it a go and explore your head voice. It's really, really important. And you see, it's getting more popular having uh, male singers using their head voice, Sam Smith, um, the guy from Maroon 5, you know, um, a lot of, lot of singers now come forward and sing a lot with their head voice. Michael Jackson was a lot of head voice, falsetto, uh, the Bee Gees, that was a lot, a lot of twang, head voice, so it, it's still a thing and it will always be an interesting thing in men using their head voice. I see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching and mwah, big kisses from Singapore. <laughs>